Guys, I am an Igbo girl about to make a Yoruba delicacy. This is going to be my first time ever making a way to and beggary. <laughs> Fun fact, guys, I have actually only eaten Amala, a way to and beggary, once in my entire life. And it was, I uh, remember it was Buki of the Kitchen Mills who actually um, took me to some spots downtown to have it and I really enjoyed it and then I thought to myself you know what instead of going out to have it because I started having the craving instead of going out to have it why not try making it and see if you can be if you can be good at it so this is going to be my first time making a way do and beggary and I really am a little bit nervous <laughs> When I was doing my research on how these recipes are made, I was quite fascinated to know that Begiri and Ewedu actually use very few ingredients and the steps to making it are very, very easy and minimal. So I was like, okay, let's give it a try. I mean, there's no harm in trying, right? I'm going to be using some recipes that I got online to recreate these recipes and fingers crossed, guys, I hope things turn out correctly. And if you are a Yoruba person watching this video, please do not murder me. This is my first time and I'm an Igbo girl, so pat on a girl, okay? <music> Guys, the moment of truth is here, finally. <laughs> I'm going to be cooking the Begiri and the Ewedu simultaneously. And I have my an iPad here and I'm going to be looking at the recipe because remember that this is my first time of making this recipe. We are going to be starting with the begiri. I'm going to start by cooking the beans and because the beans require some time to cook, that's why I'm starting with the beans. Now begiri is made using honey beans. Now I'm teaching you guys, listen to me, okay? <laughs> and you need to peel out the skin of the beans, which we have just done. So the recipe says cook the beans till it's extremely soft. So we want to cook these beans until it is very tender. I'm going to also add some water then i'll cover this up and then while the beans is cooking we will proceed to making the ewedu to get started on the ewedu i already have a bunch of ewedu leaves here the recipe i saw said to pluck out the ewedu leaves but be careful not to pluck out the stem with the leaves because when you pluck out the stem with the leaves you won't have a very smooth soup when you're done. So I've plucked off all of my Ewedu leaves. It's looking nice and clean. The recipe says to wash the leaves thoroughly, which I've done in the sink. Now my leaves are clean and washed. It's time to blend this up. Now, when I was doing my research, some recipes actually would cook the leaves first in the pot with the locust beans and um, what else? Yes, and then before blending. But there's another recipe I watched that blended the leaves and the locust beans before cooking, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So all the Ewedu leaves will just go into the blender. The recipe that I'm following also added the crayfish into the blender at this point. She also added the locust beans to the blender as well. Now the reason she said she's adding the locust beans to the blender at this time is because she doesn't like to see the locust beans in the soup, which is actually uh, my personal preference. I also don't like to see locust beans in my food. Afterwards, the person added, she added some water. So what I'm gonna do now is just cover the blender now and blend this up until it is nice and smooth. Let me know in the comment section if you think that I'm doing good so far. <laughs> this is an Igbo girl trying to make a way to a begiri. <laughs> okay, let's blend away. smells like leaves <laughs> look at that guys oh child it's so dark but it's smooth it's nice I love it we'll just move over to the stove top because it's time to cook this up the lady just poured it out oh guys look at that so I'm just gonna keep staring she just started staring continuously for about I think three to four minutes just so that we can cook up the leaves slightly. This is actually one, going to be one very healthy, um, healthy delicacy because it's made from vegetables. What I can notice is that the, it's actually starting to get a lot lighter in color. It was very dark before. So I'll just keep stirring that on medium to low heat 
for about three to four minutes just to cook it down slightly. So guys, I noticed that my Ewedu is not drawing. I must be doing something wrong or maybe it's just a special of Ewedu in Nigeria because the latest video that I watched was actually filming from the abroad. So I don't know if it's, if it has something to, I don't know. Maybe it's a special of leaves I'm using. It's not drawing. So I might need to add the baking soda or is it powder now, which I was trying to avoid. I'll find out which I was supposed to add. But once the Ewedu comes to a boil, according to her, just season it lightly with a little bit of seasoning powder just for taste, a sprinkle of salt. Then I'll just mix it all up together again. Let's just leave this to simmer gently for four minutes and I'll be back. So my Ewedu is still not drawing. I just found out that I can add a little bit of baking soda or potash. If you have, I don't have potash. But I'm going to add just a tiny bit of baking soda into the pot and see if it draws. You had better draw, guy. You had better draw. Oh, look at the reaction. <laughs> I'm also going to add a tiny bit of water. Oh, yes, I think it's going to draw, guys. Yes, it's starting to draw nicely. It's not there yet, but yes, I can see that it's starting to draw. It's actually starting to draw, but I don't think I'm satisfied with the consistency of the draw compared to the draw that I saw online. So I'm not so sure what I did wrong, but I followed the recipe to the latter. But it's smelling good. It's looking good. Hmm. 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 Actually, it tastes nice. It tastes very smooth to the mouth, like melts so nicely in the mouth. I think I'm giving this a thumbs up for taste. But for draw, I'm not satisfied. But this is what it's looking like. This is what it's looking like after cooking it for five minutes. So that's the Ewedu all done. Let's move over to the Begiri. Now the beans has to be super duper soft, like, like mushy, mushy soft. That's exactly what you want so that it blends easily in the blender. I'm going to let this cool down for a bit after putting it in the blender and then we'll blend, okay? If your food is too hot, what I advise you to do is just remove the top of the blender so that the steam would have a place to escape and it doesn't explode the blender, okay? Blend that up. Next up, I'm just going to transfer the blended beans into the pot that's already heating up on medium heat. I'm not making a lot of beans. So I just rinsed out the blender and then I'm going to pour in the water in the pot like so. What you want is somewhat of a semi-liquid consistency according to the video that I watched. At this point, I'm going to season this lightly with some crayfish powder. I'm also adding a little bit of seasoning powder. I'm using some chili pepper and then we're also going to drizzle a tiny bit of oil so i'll just give that a stir together to combine it's starting to look like beggary guys <laughs> and what i'll do is i'll just continue to stir this and allow it to cook for about two to three minutes because the beans is already fully cooked we just want to simmer and marry everything together in the pot that's what it's looking like and i absolutely love it we've come to the moment of truth guys this is looking very good it smells amazing i think i feel proud of myself and i'm happy at the outcome mm. this tastes good this tastes absolutely delicious and i'm going to take it off the heat immediately our ewedu and begiri is ready to be served <laughs> guys to say that i feel proud of myself is an understatement I finally faced my fears and I made a widu and begiri. And to be quite honest with you, I am super duper excited about how it turned out taste-wise and also look-wise. The only little problem I have is the fact that my Ewedu didn't draw as much as I would have loved it to draw. But I'm going to try it again and um, this time I'll use potash. And if you think that there's something I didn't do right, with the airway do please kindly leave a comment for me in the description box down below and then i'll try it again and then i'll tell you guys what i think but in another video i'm gonna be making amala that one is nerve-wracking because i've heard a lot of people say amala is the most difficult thing to make on this earth 
I don't know, but I'm going to make it in the next video. And then in that video, we'll also taste the Amala Begiri and Iwidu and then the stew that I'll make for this. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this with me. The whole idea of this episode was for you to face your recipe fears. And if there's a recipe that you feel like has challenged you so long, it's time to get into the kitchen and make it. You may just be amazed at how it will turn out. I'll see you in another video. Until then, take care, guys.